protection and security. That is what the Central Industrial Security Force CISF swears by. Set up in 1969, CISF is the largest industrial security force in the world, providing security to over 300 industrial units and other critical infrastructures all across the country. Training is what separates the men from the boys and CISF takes immense pride in its training activity. One aspect that makes CISF stand out is its sparker training. At least in CISF I have seen it has definitely benefited my men because when we started within a period of three weeks my officers were able to attain the same level of efficiency which the NSG commandos had given during their demonstration. And uh, I was told by outsiders that they are doing extremely well. Parkour is a unique training discipline which involves training the body and mind to steer clear obstacles by efficiently using the environment. Its founder, Raymond Bell, a French soldier, believed that athleticism combined with courage could make the human body do wonderful things. What started back then has now become an extreme sport thanks to his son David Bell and is very popular among teens and fitness enthusiasts. At CISF National Industrial Security Academy, NISA, Hyderabad, parkour has become a major part of the training regime of the Central Industrial Security Force of India. It was basically introduced during the you know, Second World War by the French Army as such, because during the Second World War, many of the army people they got you know, uh, imprisoned. And uh, that was one way how they came out of the prison cells and reached to their desired place as such by using, you know, whatever available landscape they had. In a day-to-day -day life, CISF soldiers perform their duties mostly in urban areas and accordingly CISF QRTs are trained in tactical operation to meet any contingency. And parkour enhances the ability of QRTs to move rapidly to counter any threat. It is an activity of moving rapidly through an area, typically in an urban environment, negotiating obstacles by running, jumping and climbing. Since it is physically and mentally tasking, it encourages quick thinking, concentration, reasoning, focus and relaxation. And all these are hugely important in the holistic growth of a soldier. Each trainer is called a treasure. And there are four necessary exercises for parkour training. Force impact stabilization. Raymond Bell's manual calls this step the beginning of parkour. Called the plyometric exercises, these mean rapid repetitions of stretching and contraction of muscles. Starting with depth jump, where the treasure jumps 24 to 30 inch boxes in a matter of 2 to 5 seconds. Next is drop jump, where obstacles are crossed with jumps from different heights. Your landing plays a very important role as it absorbs the impact and keeps the treasure stable. Box jump, as the name suggests, is jumping from increasing ranges of height. The last leg of stage 1 is double leg boxes. This also deals with the stabilization and absorption of force impact. Body control, balance and strength are the core components of parkour. With two major exercises, LNV sit and the bar hold. In these trainings, the training starts his hold time with 5 seconds and goes up till 60 seconds that gradually moves into V sit. The bar hole is where the training is in a hanging position for up to 120 seconds. 
part tools includes dynamic exercises that include side jumps. To excel in parkour, the trainee must have powerful and efficient lungs and heart. This high intensive training includes sprints. Lastly, the impact takes its toll on the body. Therefore, an increase in muscle mass is a must. Upper body press. Mainly push-ups and dips for strengthening of biceps and triceps. Lower body press. This comprises three stages. Body weight squat. Bulgarian split squat. and lunges for legs. Upper body pulling comprising mainly of chin-ups and pull-ups. Lower body pulling. According to Raymond Bell, back extension is the most important exercise. Being a CISF soldier is no mean feat. It's not just us they need to protect, but themselves as well. The odd hours of a security job can bring with it stress and depression. And this is where parkour is of immense help making them mentally strong and free.